Hello everyone, my name is Eric Lundquist. I'm the president of AA Janssen. We're located up in Waterford, Michigan. We've been a metrology standards lab for five decades or three generations and we'd like to address some of the commonly asked questions from our customers in a video series we're going to be producing and posting on the web. But I'd like to start with gauge block calibration. That's one thing that we've been noted for for years having been a gauge block manufacturer. Um, and one of the common questions we have is we, we report the gauge block uncertainty. For example, here's the formula that we use for gauge block uncertainty. It reads 1.7 plus 1.2L and the units being micro inches. One of the common questions is from our customers, what does this mean to me? And so I want to address that for a number of people out there that might have this question. And for example, I want to use a one inch gauge block. So let's say you send in a one inch gauge block for calibration. And let's say we send you a report saying the gauge block is exactly one inch to keep it simple and easy. We have to use this formula to determine how certain we are in that measurement. Nothing's perfect in the metrology world. Uh, when you measure a block and you report it as one inch, it could be slightly bigger, could be slightly smaller, depending on the uncertainty of your laboratory. So first of all, when you look at a formula like this, it comes in two parts. A static portion, which is a fixed portion of the formula, and a dynamic portion of the formula that changes based on some unit. And if you don't know that unit, you really can't use this formula, so you have to specify L equals inches. So now that we know what unit the formula is in, we can simply plug the 1.0 into the formula, and you rewrite this formula as 1.7 plus 1.2 times L which happens to be one inch, unit still is in micro inches. Since our gauge block size is one inch, we plug the one inch in for the, the L, L being in inches, multiply one times 1.2, which is simply 1.2, add 1.7, the two of those numbers together, 2.9, and the unit is in micro inches. So what that means is when we tell you the size of a gauge block, that's one inches in length, we have a 95% certainty that, or uncertainty, in this case certainty, that the block will be one inch plus 2.9 millionths, or possibly one inch minus 2.9 millionths. So there's a 95% chance that it will fall within that range, with probably the majority of the probability being closer to the actual one inch number. Okay, since we said the gauge block we measured was a one inch block and had a error of zero, meaning it was exactly one inch, and it had an uncertainty of 2.9 micro inches. A lot of times people, the next question will ask, well, what is this little symbol here in front of the micro or the inch? It's a micro symbol. The micro symbol is a Greek prefix that pretty much means, it denotes a magnitude of approximately 10 to the negative 6. And it's real simple calculation. All you have to do is move the decimal place six decimal places to the left and you'll have your numbers in inches. So for example, in the case of 2.9, we can put a bunch of zeros in front of the number and we simply move the decimal place a magnitude of minus six, one, two, three, four, five, six, which means that would be five zeros, a two, and a nine, and you can thus remove the micro inch symbol because you've adjusted it back to inches. So when you read it in this case, it's basically 2.9 millionths or 0 .0000 two millionths and it almost three millionths if you wanted to round upwards. Hope that helps you and we'll try to do more videos here in the future that will answer some of your questions. So if you have questions, visit www.aajansen.com and we'll try to address some of your questions. You can email info at aajansen.com Dot com. Once again, that's Jansen with two S's, and we'll try to address some of those common questions you have, and maybe we can help you out in the future.